So it looks like we're going to need to talk about Overwatch ranked again. At the start of season two, it seems that they fixed a couple of issues, one of which being people not ranking up after even going positive on their card and even sometimes going down or just staying the same rank. Now it seems like that isn't much of an issue. Things that are apparently issues now is that the matchmaking is worse, blowouts happen a lot more, loss streaks happen more, and many more issues that we'll talk about today. If you guys enjoyed the video or find any of this information helpful, please like the video. Lastly, shout out to Clicks Alpha for winning the last battle pass of our giveaway. But let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So at the start of season two, everyone was given a brand new rank because everyone got some decay. Now, I don't think this is unusual or anything out of pocket or weird. I also don't think it's the slightest bit unexpected. What is unexpected is that some people actually ranked further down than what they normally thought they were going to. For example, I ended the season at plat 5, or so I thought, because I'd already played some games while in my next card, it still counts those games and applies those at the end of the season. So depending on your record at the end of the season, it can negatively affect you, and at the start of the new season can give you a whole new rank. The reason why this is an issue is because first of all, no one was aware that this was even going to happen. Because of the rank system's lack of transparency, everyone just kept playing and if they wanted to stop playing that role, they just stopped playing that role. But if they played some games that were already a part of a new card, it continued to count those games even after the season had ended. Ending at Plat 5, I actually ended at Gold 2 because of that. So now I've already gone from Plat 5 to Gold 2, which is only two tiers, it's not a big deal, but then it adds the decay from the Gold 2. So then I go from plat 5 to gold 2, then I decayed all the way down to silver 1. Now let's take this on a grander scale of someone of a higher rank. Let's say they have a masters player and they're still playing and they don't finish their card and they derank down all the way down to diamond. So let's say that they're diamond 3 or diamond 2 for instance. Then from there, they're going to then decay as everyone else is all the way down into platinum. Or to be honest, maybe even gold 1. So now you've got this masters player who's in gold lobbies. Before I get any deeper into that, keep in mind that these players are also losing out on their rewards. Instead of getting more currency to purchase another gold gun, and now they're going to get even less because they were unaware that they were even going to derank. On top of that, the titles that they now provide you at the end of each season for acquiring a certain rank, you're now going to get a completely different title because you had no idea you were going to derank. Now, going back into the issue with the player who is the rank down into gold that may potentially be a master's level player, we've now got the problem with uneven matches. And this isn't something that I'm just making up. This is actually a real issue. We have this tweet from someone who claims that they ended at plat 3 on their tank and then went down to gold 4 from decay. He says that he starts pushing his ranks and he's going up against a master, which if you enlarge the image, you can really see that he is going up against a master. Now, let's take me for example. As I told you, I went down from gold 2 into silver 1, right? So check out who I got into my game before completing my next placement games. I actually got a grand master in my game as a silver player. Now, they state that the matches are still going to be made based on your underlying MMR. Meaning that if you are a grand masters player and you've gone down all the way down to plat, and you're going to be playing against other plat players, those other plat players should still be other grandmasters or masters level players, right? Well, if that's the case, why am I going up against this grandmaster? Is it saying that my MMR matches a MMR of a grandmaster? Is that how they got into my game? And this was not the only time that happened. I had another grandmaster on my team. I've even gone up a few personally. So how is it possible that it's based on MMR, but these players are still getting my game but at the same time, if I ever go positive on a card, it either only ranks me up once or I stay the same rank. And here's yet another example of someone else's ex experience with rank so far. Some great new cosmetics in Overwatch 2 Season 2. Too bad the matchmaking makes comp unplayable. And I know if you're watching this video and you're someone who's played ranked, you're going to notice that there has been a lot more blowouts, a lot more uneven matchups, and a lot more games where you're just getting someone on your team that really just does not know what they're doing. For example, one of my mutuals is Diamond and got a gold player on their team. This is something that should literally just never be happening. This is from a game that I had just yesterday. I went 14 and 6, which is nothing like incredibly impressive. But if you consider the fact that my tank went 9 and 6 and the other DPSer went 10 and 8, it's just going to make it really hard for me to do anything, especially when the tank is dying as much 
just as I am and they're not getting any picks. You can clearly see there's a very obvious tank diff here and that does happen, but it's never really been this bad. Again, it just really feels like a lot of these games are complete blowouts or someone is on your team that just shouldn't be on your team. Blizzard does know this is an issue as we saw with their Twitter post, but they also went as far as making a blog post on their forum. It states at the end of each season, you will receive a final competitive update regardless of reaching your seven wins or 20 losses based on any matches played since the last rank update. So for example, if you lost more matches than you won, it is possible you have dropped down a rank and that final update applies as the ending rank of the season. When a new competitive season begins, we will apply some rank decay to all roles, meaning your skill tier and division will likely be lower from where the previous season ended. Players should climb to the ranks representing their true skill throughout the season regardless of the rank decay. All masters will still be made on the player's underlying matchmaking rating or MMR ensuring we make matches as fair as possible. Which again, we can clearly see that isn't what's happening here as we're getting players who are in games that probably shouldn't be in those games. Personally, I think they should add a few more UI changes that way it would make it so where we at least know just a tiny bit of how we're performing in the rank system even if it's just as much as giving us our record. But I know the reason why they're not doing this is because they want players to be playing more, especially with the influx of new players. Players see that they're going 2-8 or something along those lines, they may get demotivated and stop playing ranked. My issue with this is that every other game that has a competitive scene is very flourishing and they show you how you're doing at the end of each game. If it was simply as easy as seeing your points go down or seeing your record to make someone stop playing the game, they're likely not going to continue playing the game in the first place. Games like Valorant or League of Legends or even Fortnite and Apex all show you how you're performing as you're climbing through ranked. But for some reason, I believe that Blizzard is scared that showing this is going to scare players away from their game. One thing that I will say though is that their plan is working. Making it so where it's 7 wins or 20 losses, in my opinion, does get players to play more. And this is just me speaking from personal experience, but anytime maybe I get like 4 wins and I think that I only need 3 more wins in order to get my next rank, I end up staying on when I may have gotten off and continue playing. This a lot of times will lead me end up playing more than just 3 games and I will continue playing the game more. But admittedly, their strategy is working. But where the issue lies is that this strategy can only work if everything else is functioning at the same time. Having lopsided matches or having where matchmaking isn't working how it should is only going to create an even worse player experience. If players believe that they're going to continue to get matched up against players that shouldn't be in their games, they're likely not going to be playing ranked and they're just either going to stick to playing arcade or quick play. All in all, I think this is something that really should be fixed and it seems like a very fixable thing to do. I'm all for keeping the system how it is as long as they can fix everything else in the process. But let me know down in the comment section how your ranked experience is going and how far it actually decayed you. If you enjoyed today's video or you found any of this information helpful, please consider leaving a like on the video. And if you want to come back and see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and I will see you guys in the next video.